Hey everyone, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're kicking ass. Hope you're having a wonderful day. As always, as usual, as you know. As you know. So, I don't know. I had some time on my hands. I thought I would talk to you fine people, you good Americans out there. And I was just like looking over Twitter and I saw, I don't even really know what the hell they're talking about, but I was just thinking like, who the hell do these people think they are? They think they're the arbiters of truth. And then like you listen to them and it's like listen how they describe these people protesting far right-wing conspiracy theorists for wanting their freedom and it's just annoying social media we've all seen the twitter files and the government like coordinating with you know private companies they used to be like well private company could censor whoever they want they're not the government but clearly there's a i don't know some sort of uh, collaboration, I don't know, sinister as it may be, it's clearly there. But I also wanted to kind of go, I already made an Elon Elon Musk video on the BBC, no one fucking watches my videos, so so I'll just make another one. So here, let's, let's dive right in. Look at this shit. There we go. Look at this your BBC just, you know, giving it to you real giving it to you hard oh no I had it all set up, fuck god damn it sorry, sorry get my laptop get my shit together start editing videos like, they'll be good videos you'll love them yeah, this bit, listen to this, this is BBC (laughs) Since the ultra-low emission zone held a protest in central London today, local protesters and mainstream politicians were joined by conspiracy theorists and far-right groups. It follows news, a judicial review is to be held into plans to expand ULEZ to all of London's boroughs in August. The mayor's office say the expansion plans will continue without delay. You hear that? Well, for a comprehensive look at all the arguments for and against ULEs, visit the BBC London yeah, website. Yeah, all, all the arguments for and against. The right-wing conspiracy theorists. You catch that? Yeah, I'm sure the arguments uh, against whatever they're doing are going to be, like, really non-biased by the BBC. Since the ultra-low emission zone Did held a protest it? in central London today, All local the respectable protesters people. and mainstream politicians were joined by conspiracy theorists and far-right groups. Yeah. It follows I hate, news... I hate these people. I hate these people. And especially the British press. Dude, they're the worst. Like, American press is fucking horrible, but... <laughs> oh, God. And then, let's go back over my boy our savior, Elon. Well, there's a longer version of it. No, no, not that one. Here, there we go. Uh, I mean, I would, I would only just add that, you know, we have spoken to people who, who have been sacked that used to be in content moderation. And, and, and we've spoken to people very recently yeah. who were involved in This is the BBC again. And the whole reason this interview was set up because Elon Musk slapped a label on the BBC, essentially calling them state-run media. I don't think... That's not actually the label. Something like that, though. And they got pissed, and so did NPR. And fuck them. Elon Musk pissing off all the right people again and again. Love it. And he catches this journalist is fucking lying. And just being like, well, there's hate speech all over Twitter. And he's like, name an example. And then the journalist is like, well, I actually haven't even used the For You section of Twitter for... He's like, so you're a liar. No, you just lied. Like, Elon, he sees these fucking snakes for what they are. And this was great. Operation. My second and video say, going over the same just, There's not enough people to police this stuff, particularly around. Um, yeah, why should they? Hate speech um, in the company. Do, do, is that well, what hate speech are you address? talking about? I mean, you use Twitter, right? Do you see a rise in hate speech? I mean, I, I, but just a personal anecdote. Like, what do you do? I don't. P- personally, my uh, for you, I would see. I get. I get more of that kind of content. Oh. Personally, but I, I'm not going to talk. To, talk to the rest of for, for the rest of twitter so you see more hate speech personally i would say i would see more hateful content in that yeah. and what does that mean who the hell do these people think they are to tell you what to think what you can or can't say in britain it's really bad your fear is offensive your fear is offensive are, are you afraid of i don't know it, londinistan and what's happened to it 
Well, that's offensive. You, the police will knock on your fucking door. And they're like, Elon, why aren't you, like, helping us out? Because he's not a fascist. He doesn't think he should control people's fucking minds and what they can say and what they can't. Which is a good thing. God bless Elon. I don't care. Everyone shits on Elon. I, I, I don't see why. I don't know. Over target, I guess. He's over target. And uh, Content you don't like or, or hateful? What do you mean to describe a hateful thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, completely know, subjective. That will solicit a, a reaction to something that may include something that is slightly racist or slightly sexist, those kinds of, those kinds of things. So you think if I'm, something is slightly sexist, it should be banned? I, yeah. No, is that I'm what not, you're saying? I'm not saying anything. I'm saying. Well, I'm just curious. What you, I'm, just, I'm trying to understand what you mean by hateful content. Yeah, yeah. Content. He thinks he thinks he could just like come up with nothing. He's got fucking nothing. He's like, well, I mean, if he gave an example and then said it would have to be banned, or he thinks it should be banned, then he fucked up and he knows it. These people play these games where like, well, this is hateful. This is hateful content. This is hate speech. It's all subjective. It all only goes one way. And Ewan just fucked everything up by buying Twitter and like being like, no, that's ridiculous. He's absolutely right. So these people, these fucking people, I can't stand these journalists. They're not journalists, dude. These people, they masquerade as journalists. They're activists. These people are activists. They're not journalists. They're not informing you. They're playing games. Hate speech this, sexism that, racist this, racism is so fucking stupid can't stand these fucking people they're destroying society and all of them are a bunch of fucking liars smear merchants professional liars can't stand these fucking people and and i'm asking for specific examples um and if and you just said that if like a child slightly got nothing dude that's hateful content does that mean that it should be banned well you've asked me you've asked me whether my feed whether it's got less or more, it, I'd say it's got slightly more. That's why I'm asking for examples. Can, right. you, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't. Use, I, 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 honestly, you I don't. You can't name I, a single example. I'll tell you why, because I don't actually use that for you. Feed oh, I, I, yeah, so you're a fucking liar. And no one should ever, you people have lost all fucking credibility. And I'm so glad Elon Musk did this on, uh, he, he was like, fine, you want to interview about this? BBC, they we were all pissed off. They had a tiff with Elon, a tiff about... His, the label he smacked on them and they wanted an interview and he was like fine yeah but we'll do it on uh, uh, Twitter spaces so it'll be live and in the interview it's like the reporter actually walks away from the interview before Elon and Elon's just like no I'm just gonna keep talking I'm gonna chill here talk you know to the people watching it was like kind of an awkward moment but just a master class Elon well done I just don't particularly like it. But you said actually, a lot of people, a lot of people are quite similar. I, I, I only, well, well, I only look well, at my, my followers. You said you've following. seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example, not even one. Yeah, you're a liar. I'm sure I've used that feed for the last. You haven't even used it. Three or four weeks, and I. Well, I then how did you see the hateful content? Content. Because I've been, oh. I've been using, I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen the you for you hateful content. I'm asking for one example. Right. And and I, you can't I, give us a single one. And, 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 and I'm saying. I, I, then I, I say, sir, that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Oh, oh, oh. What was that? What was that? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, fuck this guy. He got fucking nothing, dude. Fucking nothing. It's so pathetic. So pathetic. Elon is just, like, walking him through the Socratic method of, like, no, you're lying, and you clearly didn't see anything. And now you say you haven't even used, like, looked at, like, so... Which is it? It's impossible for you to have seen more hateful content if you're not even looking at the for you section of Twitter. Fucking j- journal, these activists masquerading, yes, because you can't running give around as journalists. Of hateful con- content, not even one tweet, and yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed, you just lied. What? No, you just no, lied. What I was, uh, you just lied to me. Many, uh, Elon is like you just lied that, to me. That kind of information is on the rise now. Whether, whether it has a mind or not. I mean, I, right, yeah. and again, like it's all subjective. A strategic dialogue uh, institute in the, in the UK. They will say that. So you, they, Look, yes, people will say all sorts of yeah. nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Right, and as, as already He's said, like, all these organizations exactly. that hate you and, uh, like, hate freedom and hate <laughs> freedom of speech say that there's uh, hateful speech everywhere and everything is racist. 
and everything needs to be censored. Anything they don't like, anything of their progressive social justice nut job causes. Yeah, the enemy is claiming that hate is on the rise. Yeah, they do that all the time. The SPLC, I don't care. Fuck all these people. It's a badge of honor. But let's, how would you know? That I don't you, think this is getting anywhere. You literally said you experienced more hateful content. Yeah, yeah. he literally lied to your example. face. Right, and as I said, I that's absurd. I haven't, I haven't. And the veil comes that, off. That then how would you know this? Yeah, how would you know? Because I'm saying that's what I saw a few weeks well, ago. What was that? What was that? Oh, 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 oh we yeah. Have, oh, we only have a certain oh, amount of time. Oh, um, well, COVID misinformation. Oh. You Amazing. Changed, you changed I'm not going to touch this with a 10 foot pole just like I did in my last video because anything you say about that shit YouTube will take your shit down immediately it's like god it pisses me off to no end it's just... but Elon says it and Elon can say it I can't say it but yeah I've made videos about this in the department of energy god everyone's sending me friend requests and shit I appreciate it but kind of fucking with my video yeah, uh, on BitChute, the video that YouTube took down for this, where I did go over, YouTube sent me some shit, like, they reviewed it, and they were, stop sending me a friend request. Okay, yeah, and they were like, yeah, well, you accused uh, people of being um, evil, malicious liars in the government, and I was like, yeah, I did, and they were like, <laughs> I was like, I'm, it's funny that it's against the rules in terms of service of YouTube to call out evil on their platform. That's what they essentially said. I thought it was fucking hilarious. Thank you, Team YouTube. Information has BBC changed its COVID misinformation? The BBC oh, have they? not set the rules on Twitter, so I'm asking And I love you. how the no, government, or these the journalists, you notice throughout all of COVID, I could say this, like these journalists, they're like, well, if the government said it, it must be true. So we'll run with that and push to ban anyone that says otherwise yeah the journalists really you know putting the government's feet to the fire during covid yeah it says nobody at all these people journal these aren't journalists these people are marxist fucking losers masquerading as journalists with an agenda bbc is misinformation about covid I'm, I'm, I'm just asking yeah. you about, you changed the huh? labels. The huh? Huh? You have anything to say for yourself, BBC sir? Mr. BBC? He's like, well, I'm not a representative for the BBC. Well, I'm here to ask you about? about fucking this bullshit that I lied about. Okay, it, it, COVID is no longer uh, an issue. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Does the BBC uh, hold itself at all responsible for misinformation re re regarding ma masking and, and side effects of vaccinations? And not reporting on that at all. Yeah, I can't talk about any and of this. What about the I have, the BBC but was I can't. Under pressure not going to touch government it. To change the editorial policy, are you aware of that? And this is a, this is not an interview about the BBC. Oh, so. you thought it wasn't. <laughs> oh, you thought it wasn't. <laughs> I see now why you've done Twitter Spaces. I yeah, so it could be live, and you can't edit the shit out of it. And they did edit it. Let's Apparently, the BBC really put out like a a forty five minute like edited version of this. But, like, it doesn't matter because it's all on Twitter spaces. It was live, and, and I like that he said that. He's like, oh, you thought it wasn't? You thought it wasn't an interview about the BBC? You liars, you professional liars, you smear merchants, you dirty bastards. Talk about you and you too. All right, let's, 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 talk about, let's talk about something else. You weren't expecting that. Uh, let's yeah, yeah let's, just, let's move on, huh? Yeah, let's move on, says the BBC when called out. Have you guys been... <laughs> ever said anything that was misinformation yeah that's what I thought alright so that's all you get that being said I hope all of you have a wonderful day and uh yeah fucking about to go to work got to deal with all the bullshit that goes with that some of it is yesterday was really ugly <laughs> so hopefully today goes better that being said I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend. You know, I hope you, you could like my video, you know, it would help. Maybe leave a comment or something if you don't mind. Nah, for, for real though, have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.